Thank you Teddy for rejoining as a member. Level 4 I might add. Thank you Mansor for becoming a member, then going to level 2. I really appreciate it man. Thank you to all my level 1 members. Xavier McKnight, Legend 77, Bradello 2, B. Johan, Dry, ECR, Nexus. These guys are linked in the description down below, and you can be too. For only 0 a month, you get to talk to me on Discord when I play multiplayer games, and you also get access to my Minecraft realm. You are not required to become a member, it's always an optional thing. You can check the perks by hitting that join button down below, or you can also click my custom link in the description down below. What's going on you guys, and welcome to a new video. Today I want to show you my new elevator I spent way too much time on. Alright, <laughs> pretty simple, more simpler than I thought it would be. And I'm really hating myself a lot for not realizing how simple it is. I would make it even more simple if you want to, but right now this is what I think is good enough. Anyway, so what is this uh, elevator you might ask? This elevator is a water elevator, so you can see all the dispensers right now, all the way up to there. There we go. You can see it's a pretty cool effect though. Let me turn it off just so you guys can see. You can see right there. Click, 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 click. And it's got the the light going all the way up. So all you do is just open these uh, fence gates and walk in. All the way up to the surface here. Or whatever you want to do. In my case, this is my mine... Mine... Uh, elevator that I'm going to have on my realms. Remember guys, it's all for members. So if you guys become a member, you can join the realm too. So it's uh, these bubbles will disappear eventually. They they still work it like bubbles in the air, which is pretty weird, but you can just jump down and you're all done. A lot of string and uh, sticks. A string is probably going to be the only challenge. Uh, it's not too complicated. I'm going to make it as simple as I can. Uh, and now whenever I'm done with the wiring, I'm gonna get back to you guys. So it's pretty simple though, right? So the first thing you need to do, of course, very important, uh, is the toggle latch. Put bu put items in themselves, so that's pretty useful. And a hopper. Right there. And uh, we also need some redstone. Mainly just to put an item in the in the thing you can use whatever item you want inside this and then we need a comparator oh my god I can't type for my life comparator here we go alright so it's pretty simple right. you need to make one of these toggle latches it's basically an item in here and it's currently in this uh, dropper and whenever you click the button it will move all the way over here to this so it's gonna turn it off and then you click again you go up there right there so it's really useful if you want to make uh, wirings for you know buttons and such the only issue is you need to make sure that the button is always connected to this so each button you want to add to this elevator you need to connect to this toggle latch uh, I don't know if I could do any multi-floor stuff but you know it's not too complicated I just want to make sure I put this right I believe it's close to center. As you can see by here. Okay. It's actually in the center. That's pretty perfect. So let's go over here. So you can put this any like location. It's probably better to put it one higher up. But, you know, just to make this a lot simpler on everyone, I will do it in a certain way. So there we go. You got one uh, facing up like this right there and you also have it's gonna have to have th this is an easy way to you do it you put just droppers like this and shift click it's gonna go into that block then another one it's gonna go down very nice and then the hopper goes into that so it's gonna push the block uh, whatever item you have into this one right here just put an item in there that you want to do. And let's grab a button real quick. I know it's probably easier to just uh, go to the category, but I'm just going to do it this way. So this is not too expensive, because droppers are only redstone, so you shouldn't be a, that shouldn't be a problem. The only expensive thing is the hopper, basically. And then you put the block. So I'm just going to have these stone blocks for 
this main wiring it shouldn't be a problem so this is what it looks like so if you click this button it's gonna turn off this competitor and turn it back on again so now you got a simple toggle circuit which is really nice so what you, if you want to get this signal to a button uh, so I'm just gonna use the stone for the button wiring everything else is gonna be color coded so you guys can get a hang along and make sure you do this right so there we go this is where the button goes I guess you can do one step lower I'm just gonna do this as much as I can here so the button is gonna be right in the center block here right there that's gonna be the trigger button for let me just go over here so I grab some redstone real quick so this is gonna go all the way down you need to have a repeater to this which is a problem I guess if you want it to be as fast as possible it will be a little bit of delay but that should be fine right very good very good so that's that so now we have the button up here that's gonna trigger it on and off so you're gonna bring this uh, this wire all the way to the next button press from the top but that's not too complicated so I will show you guys that later it's just a lot of repetitive action basically uh, so I'm gonna show you guys uh, how to do the simple each stack that you need to make this work alright so after this we can clear the inventory because we need some space I actually always want a barrier block just in case alright it's really good to use barrier blocks if you wanna see your building if you wanna build it yourself they are so much more vibrant than wools uh, concrete is not too hard to create um, for what I know it's just uh, sand and gravel I believe to make it where is it yeah I think it is so for this first wiring this is gonna be the piston wiring it's gonna be green so first we're gonna s I know I know how to do this I'm, I just need the reference to make it a lot easier on myself so we need uh, only only sticky pistons for this one no normal pistons it's all sticky so I'm gonna put a torch here so this torch is gonna be the inverted circuit basically because um, it is the one that um, basically like does uh, uh, I guess redstone dust here we go uh, does the uh, hidden uh, piston door like from the bottom so it's gonna push in the block to make it look nice so this is pretty simple. Um, it took me way too long to make this. I'm I'm so butthurt about it. I lost a lot of sleep from this, but I'm glad I'm I actually have it figured out. Uh, spent way too much time making the wiring too complicated, which is really stupid. You should not do that. Okay, so we need a dust right there. So that's gonna power both these pits then right at the same time. So you need to put this in max delay right there right there and this is gonna be the soul sand so there's a soul sand so this soul sand is basically whenever you click the button where uh, here we go button right here it's gonna go open and close state right here and the other one's gonna be inverted so it's gonna be another piston pushing a simple block in its place so in this case we'll use the stone block for this one so currently it's powered off. Let's power this on. And uh, so we're gonna do the other wiring for that. I guess we'll give it a separate color. All right, let's use yellow for the second part of this circuit. Should be pretty good. And you don't need the block right here. It's not necessary. So we're gonna put a torch right here. Why is there a torch right there? Is it just like this? And it can't be powered right now because uh, you know, uh, you know, it's not gonna be able to be powered. So all you really do now is just gonna push the block and keep it there. 
what this will do is just give you a pocket of water that you can uh, you know uh, what's it called uh, fall in when you fall down so it's gonna be as fast as possible both up and down which is really good because going down the water with the magma block really hurts you which is too bad but other than that uh, this is pretty cool so these blocks are where the water source blocks will be so these will go in I guess I'm gonna show you guys let's use some barriers here to make it look nice okay the water buckets are in here because I've got collected these water buckets so many times I know exactly where they are and I'm really what hurt about it anyway so it will be a platform so whenever water is above this block it's gonna turn into the the boost water that you get uh, where you can breathe on the water which is pretty cool so I think there's all barrier blocks good so whenever I push this button there's gonna be a water pocket here so you can fall down whenever you jump down the elevator like that it's all good so this is a pretty quick system just just to get a water pool basically so you can probably make these fairly easy you know and if you want to be want it to be a magma block you can I wish there was a block that can uh, get the magma like suction through like a grill or something like a, I guess a metal mesh or something like that to block it from like I guess you could probably use maybe trapdoors I don't know maybe carpet I don't think so but maybe if they if it supports water in the future maybe that that could be possible to protect yourself I don't know if that's possible but anyway so this circuit is all done most expensive item to make because you cannot stack bows uh, so make sure you are ready for this <laughs> so this dispenser right here is gonna dispense a water block so you need three for each layer it's gonna be three dispensers right here yeah perfect okay so it's gonna be three dispensers let's grab a new uh, uh, concrete block for the next stage here uh, let's see concrete uh, let's go for for this one we'll do red no we do, we'll do orange orange is gonna be perfect for this one so this is just the simple circuit I'm gonna put each one uh, as a different color so it's gonna be easier to tell what's what all right this one I'm gonna show you guys what it does let's put some barriers around it so you don't have to worry about uh, water logging everything I guess this is the next expensive thing. You need a lot of iron for buckets. Let's uh, remove these real quick for now. So you need a bucket for each dispenser. So this is gonna be pretty expensive, but this is worth. Gotta be joking right now. Never hold the buckets in your hand when you're doing it. So this is gonna be the one of the most expensive things. So whenever I press, well. I need to put a torch here. So it's gonna do this right away, which is really cool. Just power it again to turn it off. I recommend you actually remove, uh, and it's actually this is why you can't have soul sand because it keeps the bubbles. Even if you remove the water, I guess it's a cooler effect that you can just fly up or fly down, but eh, I don't like it. <laughs> but anyway, so what we gotta do here is just uh, push this button to remove the soul sand. So there you go now it works fine basically very good let's just remove these barrier blocks now let's grab this and this and this one the reason why I removed those is because uh, basically <laughs> otherwise you will be really in a lot of pain honestly in my opinion I think this is actually four blocks for each of these sections honestly uh, let's see if that actually works. Oh yeah, so it's four, four. P p okay, each layer is gonna be four of these. Uh, I was wrong, I guess. So each of these will be four. So you need to do this uh, four times. Wait. What? Oh yeah, I was for a second there. I was like, wait a minute. Am I doing this right? Yeah, I am. I wasn't sure if I was doing it right, but there's gonna be a water layer right here. Uh, I'm just used to the soul sand being. Is there more items in here? Jeez, dude. There we go. Excuse me. <laughs> I didn't even realize that it dropped in this hopper right here. So, is there any more items in here? Let's see. 
You only you can only have one item in that uh, the, that toggle latch. Excuse me about that. Gotcha. Anyway, so what we're gonna have to do is repeat this all the way up. It shouldn't take too long. So I will be right back when I've repeated this uh, simple circuit right here. All right, you guys. Now I've actually finally completed the uh, circuit all the way up. So this is the basic activating the dispenser circuit, if, if you want to say that. So what I'm gonna add, you don't need to add this, but I like to have it with uh, you know, like the, the the power circuit with this one. All right. I think I got it exactly replicated, which is good. What we do is get up here, like this. There's gonna be a torch right there to trigger it. So this this is only annoying process when you have to do this all each and every way. You know, shouldn't take too long to do this though, because uh, this is the way you do t downward signals in redstone. Overdid it a bit. Excuse me. So this is where it's supposed to go as possible and it goes so this will be where wherever your button is basically it's pretty simple so I'm gonna put a panel here for the button I think it's pretty similar in height but do you just put the button right there let's go to survival inventory I guess I don't have it I guess this is the better option if you guys want to do like redstone stuff because everything is in the right place you know a button right there so unless the tedious process of going with down with the signal I can start by showing you guys the first the simple process of it so it goes all the way here then you put a torch dust torch dust and you keep going all the way down so I'll be right back after I finish this because it's pretty repetitive and I don't want you guys to be bored this one should be turned off so this torch will trigger the like a button mechanism all the way up there so whenever we're up here we should see the entire entire wiring getting triggered right there all the way down I thought that was like a TNT was, was lit up there for some reason anyway so something we need to do now I'm gonna show you guys in this one is this wiring here that goes all the way up so it's got a torch for each of these uh, sections for of four dispensers so you can do up to four dispensers for each which is really good so it shouldn't be an issue uh, so this one comes from the other side of the toggle latch basically so you get the signal from the repeater all the way over here so that shouldn't be an issue to do so let's make that wiring it's gonna be a different color to make it more easier to understand Okay, let's keep all the in, the necessary stuff for redstone and uh, don't need dispensers anymore right now. We're gonna be keep the main one. All right, so let's go for uh, the so-called concrete. So let's see what next we should use. I guess we could use uh, light blue cyan. Is it cyan? No, light blue concrete. Cyan is the other color, I believe. All right, so we need to bring the signal from this one. Let me just check real quick so I know exactly how long I was. Okay. So you need to bring this signal here, three blocks like that, and this way. And make sure it, like, is, I think it's, uh, let me see. So it goes up a little bit, I see. But you can have it similar to this one. You can probably make this more compact. I just made it a simple design. Because I don't want to spend too much time on it, you know. Alright, so we go like this and like this, I believe. Yeah. And then it goes up here. You can probably put them e even closer together just to make it not as uh, space. Uh, so it doesn't take too much space. You can probably make it look nicer. So this is going to be pretty repetitive because I'm just going to keep putting blocks all the way up to the top here which is gonna do all of these uh, dispensers all the way up from the bottom because that's a, that's a better way to do it so let me just uh, do this uh, off camera and I'll be right back
to get my stuff up there, yeah. Damn it, it's like supposed to be another, another layer. Dang it. Alright, so I made the blue blocks, they go all the way to the, close to this one in height, like exactly this one. So I can show you guys this, it's not too boring I guess. Uh, you place torches all the way up, it's gonna do like uh, lit, inverted, lit, inverted, lit, inverted, lit, inverted, lit, inverted, lit, inverted, all the way up here. So, uh, I'll keep going, I guess I wasn't the top I thought it was but I guess not so this is why you need to turn off your uh, other stuff I think yeah wait did I do this too like far away dang it <sighs> dang it I need to redo this again excuse me guys I'm so okay let's do it yes let's just do this on camera I need to move it one step to the side guess I messed this up big time like an idiot Okay, let's move it one more step. I forgot to move it. Okay, let's just ignore that. I'm just gonna fake that I just did that. Okay, I thought I broke something that I'm not supposed to for a second there. Alright, so when you place your torches, I just uh, realized I placed it a bit too close. It's supposed to be one block in. The reason why is because when you place torches here, it's gonna trigger. That's why you don't want to water in the buckets when you make this. So it's gonna trigger each time you place the torch for each dispenser set of four. So make sure you guys uh, don't have that uh, the buckets in it because it's gonna make a lot of mess, which is really annoying. But there we go. The entire circuit of this is complete. All you do you need to do is connect it with redstone dust. So now you should be able to do it from the top as well. I made it so the dust was long enough to get to the torch without a repeater, which is really nice. So whenever I go all the way up here, I can actually trigger this uh, dispenser signal thing again. Gonna go all the way down. I guess I missed something. Oh yeah, did I? Hold on. Did I mess this up? Hold on a second. What? Did I miss something? This goes all the way. Did I break a torch or something? I think I might have. Oh, it's looking fine here. What the heck? What? Oh, I'm such an idiot. <laughs> I put it in one block too close. Wait, no. What? Oh, the, the, that's where it is. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. Excuse me, guys. You need the redstone that does to be connected so it actually triggers it. Jeez. Okay, yeah. <laughs> put the lamps in the wrong spot too. Oof. This, this is not a requirement for this elevator. It's just to make it look nice. Like, so you know the signal is all the way up. You can just have a lamp on the top, of top floor, basically, where you your destination is. You could probably make multiple ones of these next to each other if you want multi multiple fro floors, basically. But 
this is supposed to be like this. I'm such a fool, dude. So now it's gonna actually show the, the light signal too. There you go. All the water should be enabled now. And it shows that currently it's the soul sand that's down there. Alrighty then. Let's deactivate it. So this is basically it. This is the entire circuit. All you really need to make it work. It's not that complicated like mo most people might think. So you can probably like squish this closer together. Not too close though because uh, if you do it too close uh, the dust is going to get triggered. I think it won't be triggered by this because these torches are different. So that's pretty good. So you could probably squeeze this one uh, one more block in and right here. So these these blocks are right right here. Right on that block at least. So you can make it even smaller if you want. Uh, but yeah. Uh, I just made it like this because uh, it doesn't really matter. Because this is going to be usually underground. If you want to make it on top of the the world, you can probably make it as compact as possible. So you can make it look nice like a tower. Um, but I think it looks nice this way too. You can probably make it big enough to make it a tower. But I'm probably going to make it uh, differently uh, whenever I make it in my world. But anyway, so that's it for this tutorial, you guys. I hope you guys liked it. I guess the only thing to do is put the buckets in so we can check it out in action. So what I'm going to do in this case, uh, you should... Oh, yeah, I almost forgot the important part. I'm such a fool, dude. So you need a platform here. So this is going to be the platform that you stand on before you like get up on the elevator. But we'll also need some barrier blocks here just to show it so you guys can see everything happening. Should not be a problem. Alright. So we got that. So we can grab the water bucket. Block here too. To block the water from dripping through. And like blocks right there and here as well. Right there. So this is what it looks like. It just keeps a water source here so you can fall down. Whenever you fall down. And it puts back all the water from the dispensers. Alright, let me remove that. And uh, let's, let's set this up. So you guys can see what it looks like with just barriers and only the dispensers, basically. So I'll be right back, you guys. Fences there and fence gates right here open. You can probably add this to the wiring. So whenever it's, uh, you know, I guess. I don't want to do it because it's going to make it so much more cluttery. Or whatever you want to call it. Put water buckets. In creative is pretty easy because all you do is just click it until your inventory bar is full and you can just fill in each of these so I'm just gonna fill all these in and show you guys the uh, elevator in action without any building around it so I'll be right back see you guys soon Oh boy, it took so long. It's going to probably take way longer in survival, which is going to be a pain, but I'm going to have to deal with it. I think I can manage. <laughs> I'm going to put this in my world, if you were wondering, like realm, for all the members, of course. So, I've actually finished it. So, you get, there's barrier blocks to block the water for now, so it's not going to make the water go out, out of it. 
so yeah, so you can see here it's gonna put this whole sand and it's gonna start bubbling all the way up all right the reason why I don't have a magma block is because uh, it's not as fast as just jumping down so I currently have fly mode active so let's just go up it's not the fastest thing ever but you know it gets to jump down uh, sometimes it feels faster I guess because right now it doesn't feel fast I guess I missed the block maybe let's just check all these okay not triggered maybe I missed one I'm, not sh I'm pretty sure I did not these seem to be all source blocks because they can only do the bubbles if they're source blocks so I got a feeling it is source blocks here oh now it's way, way faster okay it takes a bit for it to take effect basically but it's way faster if uh, you wait for just a little bit so yeah so all you can all you have to do now is if you want to go down this elevator it's going to remove all of it it's a pretty cool effect the way it works you can probably add like note blocks on the other side if you wanted so you can have note blocks so you can see the bubbles in the air are still there uh, i had a lot of issues with the bubbles in the air if i did not replace the soul sand and just move it up and down but you know manage to figure it out so you can get down really fast it's super fast to get down this way and you won't risk you dying basically just fall down Whee! and if the elevator is broken you can turn it off to make it sure it works but this that's it i hope you guys enjoyed this uh, minecraft elevator tutorial is uh, infinitely stackable, so you can make this as high as you want. So if you have a super high watchtower or something like that, you can have this elevator for that watchtower. It's so awesome, and I'm glad that we have elevators. I kind of wish we had like mechanical elevators, but I guess this works with this water elevator. Because you don't have to worry about uh, losing breath whenever you use it, basically, which is pretty cool. I guess I can show in survival too. Let me just make a platform up here. Excuse me, I'm trying to place blocks, but I'm not good at it, apparently. So there's a platform right here. Let's just make a nice looking platform right there. There we go. Alright, let's go into survival. Oh, game mode S, that's pretty useful. I wish that was in normal Minecraft. Uh, Java edition. Anyway, let's push the button. Just gotta wait for the bubbles to start appearing. You could probably make like a delay timer so you know exactly when you need to go in. So, woo! Super fast. You can see the f speed when looking at the dispensers. But that's so so awesome. Okay, let's go to survival. Can get all the way down. You can even use a slower descent if you wanted to, with the water that's still there. You know, if you want to avoid getting fall damage, but it doesn't seem like it's gonna be a, a problem basically. So it shouldn't be a problem. So it's not as fast at the start, but it will like take take haste or get faster eventually. And you can just keep this on for up if you're already downstairs, which is pretty cool. I guess you can put like probably probably pressure plates right here if you wanted to pressure plates instead of buttons because that's gonna make it a lot easier anyway so you can also wait for the bubbles to disappear because the bubbles they are in the air for a bit and the game glitches out where you can keep the bubbles always on so you, you might want to have that if you don't want water to make the elevator more aesthetic I guess so whenever I jump down here without any water I should just be fine because you fall in the water pocket there. This is not realistic at all. Of course it is. And it's Minecraft. But it's pretty fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's going to take a bit for me to edit the entire video. But I think I should be fine. Uh, this is the first tutorial in a long time. I'm, the last tutorial I made was like six years ago. And I hope to make a lot more redstone tutorials for you guys. I hope you guys enjoy this. And you guys want to see more tutorials from me uh, on bedrock edition and java edition uh, i'm pretty sure this works exactly the same in java edition it's not too complicated so it hopefully works the rest of it's different in different different versions of the game 
But I think you guys can make this without a doubt. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye. Oh wait, for, before I go, if you guys want to support my channel, you can become a channel member. Uh, the I'm going to play the... I'm going to have a list of scrolling channel members on the screen, so make sure you guys support me by becoming a channel member if you like my character. Please comment if you do. <laughs> I love it. I am so glad you can have a beard. But anyway, see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.